Hi everybody, Nate here with CMS. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to get different reports off the postage machine. Many customers use the postage machine um, to keep track of different departments and how much postage they use per department. And I'll be showing you how to get a bunch of different reports to, uh, to find out how much money was spent with each department. First thing we wanna do is go to our menu button. In our main menu, we're gonna go to number six, which is reports. And as you can see here under the reports section, it gives us a multitude of reports um, of different reports that we can get um, to, depending on what we want to see. For the first example, we'll just do, let's say we want to view a single account. Um, so number six says single account. We're gonna press that. Uh, here we can change the date range of the account of what date range we want to see on the report. To change the date, you just highlight the box Press the C key to clear it out and retype in the desired date. For this report, we can change our account and we can pick whichever account we want to see. We'll just pick the service account for this one. And on the output, it's going to put our report on the screen. So if we hit our Get Report button, it'll generate the report. It'll have our date range that we inputted um, along with the account name, the number, the items used, and the dollar amount used within that date range. We can also get, um, if we want to see all of our accounts at once, a good report for that is our multi-account report here, number three. So if we push this, again, we can change our date ranges here. For this particular report, we can change our output. Um, since it's such a big report, there's a couple different options for us here. We can put it to a USB printer, or we can export it to a USB key. For this example, I'm gonna do it a USB key. Uh, the USB ports, there are two different USB ports and they are on the back side of the machine, kind of on the left backhand side there. Either port will work. I already have the USB key in there, so I'm going to hit Get Report. And it generated the report and exported it to the USB key. So now we can take out our USB key and bring it over to our PC and bring it up in an Excel format. Once you have the report exported to your thumb drive, you can place your thumb drive in your PC. We can navigate to our file explorer on the PC. Bring that up and then on our drop down, make sure we pick the USB device that we exported it to. And it will bring it up in an Excel format with an RPT as the name and it'll have the date in the title of it. So this one right here is what we did today for our multi-report account. And when we open it up, it looks like this. And as you can see here, we have all of our account numbers, all of our account names here in this column. And it shows us the items, uh, how many items per account we ran, and the dollar amount associated with that. And it gives us a total item count dollar amount up here as well, as, long, as, well as our dates that we inputted uh, when we generated the report. And that is how to view and uh, save reports.